it's been uh, <laughs> a time of good things. We won the Africa Cup under 20, but there's also been a lot of internal issues within the football fraternity. So uh, mixed in a way, but at least I believe that two years was, a, was enough for us to leave a platform with a good young team. Uh, players coming into the senior national team who we believe will be there for the next decade or so, taking Zambia to the top, uh, shown more transparency and good governance and opportunity for new sponsors and partners to come in. So I, I think we leave the FA in a good place. It's not just in Zambia, but around the continent. Sometimes you find that good administrators and people with a progressive mind in the game uh, they don't stay too long. Um, is that one of the challenges that African football needs to address? That for, for, for it to go forward, we need to, to work and preserve the talent. Yeah, I think it's, it's a little bit of a political environment and it needs to be, as is the case in Europe or in the developed world, more of a commercial environment to allow growth, to allow revenues to flow in. But I think our African game is still at a stage where people are fighting for power and, and you know, not really having a plan for when they get into power. And it's quite a, a frustration for African football. If you look at teams like uh, over the last few years, the teams who have played in the World Cup, you will go there and hear stories of no allowances, this and that, people fighting each other over this and that, the coaches and the players at war. And those are some of the things holding back the African game. But once we get it right, no team in the world will stand against African football. Mm -hmm. And do you think is that also reflected? Because when you look around now on the continent, almost each and every FA that is going to the elections, they are fights. It's not really different from our general society in Africa because if you look at the real political ah. level, you find similar situations. So we really need a rethink transformation in how we manage our affairs, our leadership, and then it will begin to trickle down from the higher level into into other arenas such as sport and business, etc. So Africa still has some development to do, not only in football, but in other walks of life as well. Mm -hmm. And finally, where are you off to? Well, back to private sector, uh, forming a partnership with a company who wants to grow their roots across African continent. So we hope to bring more partnerships between business and football to allow football to grow, but also to ensure that the companies who we link with business will be satisfied with what they get out of it, because sometimes a company will write a big check and once that contract is over they say no, we didn't really benefit. So we want to work on both sides, show the federations how to work their partnership with sponsors and show the sponsors that football is the best vehicle, because nothing else attracts people across this continent like football, so best vehicle for market. It's been... Uh, <laughs>